This week, President Trump signed a law extending a pilot program on health care for veterans. It allows some vets covered by the VA to receive treatment through private providers. The program was enacted following the 2014 scandal at the VA that found some vets waiting weeks, even months, to receive medical treatment. While the law received bipartisan support, some see it as a step towards privatizing the VA. Here to talk about that and other issues affecting veterans, we're pleased to be joined by the Secretary of Veterans Affairs, Dr. David Shulkin. Mr. Secretary, thanks and welcome to the program. Good morning. Let's first talk about the news of the week and how that might affect veterans. We're hearing from the White House that they're going to take another stab at repealing the Affordable Care Act. A study that came out this week shows that the uninsured rates of veterans under the age of 65 fell 40 percent between 2013 and 2015, largely because of the ACA. What is the implication as far as veterans concerned are concerned if the ACA is repealed? Well, first of all, I think we're going to have to take a hard look and see exactly what the legislation says. They're hard at work right now seeing if they can come up with something that will pass. But no matter what happens, the VA will be there as a health care system for veterans. And so if more veterans need to come to the VA, we will be prepared to do that. Are you willing to take those beliefs about veterans health care to the White House and express them to the president? Well, the president shares my commitment that we are going to be there for veterans, veterans, have to get the services that we owe them as a country, and that's the job that the VA has. You're, the, uh, you're a holdover from the Obama White House. Uh, what change, if any, are you seeing with this administration so far? Well, what I'm seeing is really a bipartisan commitment to making sure that we fix the issues that have been plaguing the VA for years. And what I'm seeing is just a consistent desire to move quickly and to make some hard decisions to fix the VA. Mr. Secretary, during your confirmation, you said that veterans health care would not be privatized. And yet this week, the president signed a bill that would allow some veterans to seek private medical care. How do you square those two things? Well, in no way are we seeking to privatize the VA. What we've said is, is that in order to get veterans the care that they need, we're going to have to work closer with the private sector. And so we're looking for a system that takes the best of what VA has to offer, which is tremendous services for veterans, but also supplement it with what the VA is not doing and use the private sector. So it's an integrated approach to care. There's a possibility of a government shutdown ahead. How might that affect the VA? Well, the VA is in a fortunate situation in that we have what's called an advanced appropriation. So we get our money a year ahead of time because I think Congress understands that the VA can't shut down, that right. we are there for the safety of our veterans. So and there's so no risk to veterans here? There's no risk to veterans. Well, there's going to be a press conference with the president on Thursday. We're expecting an announcement. What, what might we hear? You'll be there. Well, we're going to be talking about the tremendous progress that we're making and how we're honoring the commitment to fix the VA. And we're very excited to share with the American people about all the things that we're doing to honor the commitment towards our veterans. Secretary David Shulkin, thanks so much for being Thank with you. us this Thanks morning. Thank you.